This is the uh, 9th of December uh, in the evening time after 5. I guess I'm working second shift. Uh, get to that in a minute. Working on the backhoe, what they call a bumper. This was the worst side. Uh, see, a little bit more work on it. Haven't even done that side yet. It's getting there. Now here's what I'm doing. This is my oxygen acetylene rig. <clears throat> you got different types of torches. Okay, this is your cutting torch. Okay, I'm not cutting. I need a lot of heat. This is a brazing or welding tip. Uh, you can gas weld. It's becoming a lost skill. Uh, brazing is brazing. Not a whole lot to it fine pinpoint heat controllable cutting rig cutting head does the same thing a fine area of heat with oxygen blow to blow the molten metal out of the cut this is called a rosebud massive amount of heat in a decent sized area Something drives me bonkers on the internet when I'm watching YouTube, but people use an auction and settling rig. They'll be use a cutting head for heating stuff. Either to form it or uh, breaking loose fasteners, etc. Okay, you don't use a crescent wrench for a hammer use the right tool for the job. If you need to heat something, you need either the welding tip or the rosebud. It depends on how much heat you need. If you want to cut something, then you use the cutting head. It's apples and oranges. People think, well, it heats heat. Yeah, but the way a cutting tip is designed it's a pinpoint area of high heat and you're trying to preheat some metal you'll see it starting just with the flame pattern cutting little grooves in the metal okay you're using the wrong tool if it's a fastener you'd use a welding or brazing tip if you're trying to heat and beat get your rosebud now rosebuds are also for de-stressing welds when you're welding something heavy and laying on a thick bead as the filler metal, the weld metal, cools it shrinks. Puts your weld under a hell of a lot of stress. Then you go back with the rosebud and heat up the fill material and the surrounding area where you weld it de-stresses that weld. It's less prone to stress fracturing. Okay, so even oxygen acetylene bodies and tips have specific purposes. They're not very expensive. You can go uh, Chinese manufacturer on rosebuds and welding slash brazing tips, and they're they're cheap. You know, Amazon or eBay. Uh, I use predominantly Victor. Uh, it is what it is. You know, if, you, if you're comfortable using a, a cutting rig to heat metal, you knock yourself out. You know? And when it fails, you'll know why. Now, the reason I'm up here is uh, the Filipino community is having their Christmas party tonight. And I never go. Now, the wife likes to go, but I never go. The reason I never go is it's a bunch of people putting on airs trying to impress everybody else I wear bib overalls pretty much seven days a week I ain't got to impress nobody I am very comfortable with who I am I put on regular pants and a shirt last night when we went out to dinner for our anniversary and I've got nice clothes I just don't like to wear them but my bib overalls got plenty of pockets I like them so that's what I wear and I don't like being around people who are disingenuous 
and just trying to show off and impress others. That does nothing for me whatsoever. Now the wife goes up there, she has all of her little friends, and they sit there and chit chat all night. And uh, I'm perfectly fine with her going up there alone. You know. And she's of the age group now, she's just absolutely mortified that I'm gonna divorce her and look for a younger woman. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna do that horse shit. First off, it's not in my nature to cheat on my wife. I ain't gonna do it, period. And there ain't a woman on the face of this planet got something I want where I would cheat on my wife. It's not gonna happen. And I go into situations like that and I got a couple nickels rubbed together and the wife and I do live comfortably. And the Philippine, Filipinos within the community know that and there's no tactful way of saying it there's some cock blocking son of a guns now they will try to break up marriage to steal a man in a New York minute and I don't want to be around that crap it, it just it's disgust me you know, and I tell my wife all the time I said you got me I ain't going nowhere period there ain't nothing you can do to run me off and we get along wonderfully and we got a stable relationship marriage is sound and strong what else do we need and I'm telling you now uh, Filipino women are cut throat about trying to steal each other's man if they think he's richer than the one they got it's disgusting to me absolutely positively no doubt about it disgusting but that's what they do Am I worried about my wife? No. You know, I know she loves me. I know she's faithful. She can do whatever she wants. I got no worries whatsoever. Because I know at the end of the night, I know where she's going to be. She's going to be at home with me. So anyway, that's why I don't go to those events. I don't want those kind of women around me. And I was kidding with my wife today. I was taking her up there to the event. I'll tie a piece of fishing line to my money clip and throw it through the door and see which one latches on. And one of them will. I mean, I hate people like that, but all that I am, yeah. But anyway, that's what's going on now. So I told her I was come up my little building, listen to my radio, uh, fix my backhoe bumper, and play with my four and a half year old battery, try to save it, and then uh, get done with this, go back to the house. I'm about predictable. So anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.